Yo, welcome back. Ball Center Podcast. NFL, one game left. But before we get into everything, today is Kobe Bryant night for the Lakers, NBA, Lakers and Nuggets. So we wanted to, me and John got our Kobe gear on. So, little Lower Marion High School, and John has the, the Lakers eight, right? The eight. Eight is great. Right. You know what it is. Gotcha. Hey, shout out Kobe Bryant. I think they're unveiling his statue tonight as well, outside of Crypto Arena. It used to be Staples, but, you know, what happened to the game I love? So, eh, congrats on, you know, change your arena name. Plus history, I guess. But um, the Super Bowl is this weekend. Uh, if, if you're watching this, it's on Friday. If you're listening to us, it's on Friday. Uh, we're here to basically break down the game, what to expect, uh, our picks, what supposed picks, because we're not going to tell them until after, and then also do a grid and bracket here and there. So uh, before I start, how is everybody doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. How y'all doing? Doing pretty good. Trade deadline was today. I'm excited to talk about that. I mean, Knicks finally don't look like like idiots. The I Knicks. don't know. I, yeah, the Knicks. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I'm a Knicks fan, so I, I'm fine with the Knicks being the Knicks. But, I mean, yeah, I feel like to make little jokes. I'm mean, yeah, hey, bro. I mean, we had some great players. I'm just saying. Not championships like Boston, but it is what it is. Championship one since 2008. So. Sure. Yeah. Uh, like, how do you feel about your math? Uh, Grant Williams is off my team. Thank you. <laughs> um, PJ Washington definitely an upgrade at the four, and um, we were able to keep THJ, which I was actually happy about. And we also brought in an actual backup center now. So, you know, we went from like Javale McGee and freaking Dwight Powell to Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford. So I'm excited about that. Um. Like I said, guard plays intact. We still got Luca Kai. We still got Josh Green. We still got Jaden Hardy. That's Jaden Hardy's another one of those pieces I wanted to keep. Um, it looks like we're trying to get Spencer back because I think he's getting bought out by the Raptors. Yep. Um, I'm actually I actually like the roster right now. Like I said, I wanted a piece like Jeremy Grant or like you know just a little more firepower at the four, but um. PJ Washington is actually going to fit in like perfectly fine, so I'm cool with it. He might. I'm. I'm be honest. With you, I don't mean to. I was. I was kind of talking a little smack about Luca today. Just defense. I'm not trying to be like that. Not trying to be like that. But I think you adding PJ. PJ Washington is just. It's going to be crazy for y'all. You know what I mean? Like I. I. I really do think you guys are like, contending. Contending now. You know Plus, what I mean? Gafford averages two point two blocks a game. That's definitely, definitely great to add on your team. And the thing is, we can also like D Live is seven foot, so we can slide Gafford at the four. We could play PJ at the three. We could just play big. Yeah. Right. Oh rim my, that'd be crazy. Big. Much need a rim protection. Like Kai Lucas guards, and then we got PJ Gafford and D Live. Yeah, it's a scary five right there. But um, you know, I mean, people love to rag on Lucas defense, but um, you know, if you check the numbers and you actually watch him play, he's not a bad defender. So. Yeah. I'd say the weakest link on defense on our in our starting lineup is probably Kai. Yeah, he definitely chooses one to play defense. But um, other than that, like I said, man, I'm excited about the team. I saw Luca on what was it Tuesday? How was that? Um, uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. The arena, I gotta love Brooklyn because you know, you know they. They hate who leaves. They love who stays, right? So, mm-hmm. obviously, you know, Kai was getting those boos. But um, I'll just say Kai went off first, obviously. I think he had 23 in the first half or something like that. He shut the crowd up easily, man. Um, Now, one little alley-oop that nobody knew he was busting out because he hasn't dunked in years. Um, Great way to shut everybody up. Kai was electric from the beginning. I'm not going to lie to you. Luka picked up in third. I think Luca also had a he had a solid first first quarter too, but the, his third quarter was great. Um, we were definitely missing D Live down there because Clax had his way with freaking Dwight Powell and Maxi Cleaver. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't even be upset about that. It is what it is. Um, who else played a good game? Josh Green played a great game. I saw. I thought until so, like you know in the fourth he got a little what like. Maybe tired or something. I don't know. Grant Williams played terribly. 
again, Grant's gone, so thank you. Um, I don't know, man. The game was great. Arena was great. People we were sitting next to at first were great, and then, yeah. You know, can't sit with everybody. All fans ain't created equal. But, hey, still good game. A lot of, a lot of Dallas fans in New York, though. I'll say that. That's cool. You guys travel well. That's what's up. Yeah, man. But, yeah, that's it. Um, I mean, for the trade deadline as well, just to um, to talk about it a little bit. Um, the Bulls are properly screwed. They didn't make anything. Apparently, the team approved the rebuild, but someone in the higher-ups said no last second, and it got rejected. So, basically, they had trades set up to move pieces like Levine, uh, Vooch and DeMar DeRozan, but they said no last second, and they wanted to try to compete. So, well, good luck, Chicago. And then, I mean, for the Celtics from my team, I mean, Xavier Tillman, Jaden Springer, just to help defense. I think uh, Tillman is a great piece to help with that bench depth, especially with the bigs. He's not the best offensively, but he can, he can you know, hold his own, and then defense, that's where he is, you know, his strengths are at. So, just great to have someone – um, to come in on defense for Porzingis and Horford. So I'm excited for it. And any other trades? Nothing too big. Uh, let's see. Buddy Hill to the Sixers, much needed three-point shooting. That and was then, pretty big. That's probably yeah. the biggest trade, right? Well, if Embiid doesn't come back, then yeah. But if he does come back, that could be definitely a great um, a fit for playoff time because they knew that the most. Would you think of them moving Pat Bev? I know we're, we're going to get into football soon, but – um, I just, I didn't like that move. Like, I mean, I get he is better equipped, you know, in Milwaukee. It's going to help out Milwaukee. It's a great move for Milwaukee. You know what I mean? But I just feel like his fit was so Philadelphia. You know what I mean? Like the way he played, the like the way he yeah, acted, like, you know what I mean? Grind. The leadership. Right. Um, I mean, you, you, you play some with campaign. So, uh, I don't, I don't see why it was necessary, but maybe the Bucks just wanted, some that type of player on on their team that mm-hmm. you know does whatever it takes you know do all the little things mm-hmm. play who's really confident in themselves so yeah but also um how do y'all feel about uh gordon hayward going to okc great pickup great pickup um they didn't really lose anything in that trade either nope. they were able to keep their core shay they still got j-dub they still got uh, Chet, they still got Jay Will. That young starting lineup that they have out there, like they still got Lou Dort. Like they didn't lose anything of their core rotation, and they added Gordon Hayward, who on a championship winning team could be a, as good as a third option. True, true. And I mean, worst comes to worst, he's injured. He he helps mentor the young guys. You know what I mean? To have a guy like Gordon Hayward on your team, you know what I mean? It's it's worth it. You know what I mean? Especially for what they gave up. Yeah. I think it was Trey Mann and Davis Bertans. So yeah, he's averaging about 15 right now. Plus he's playing a little hurt. So worst case scenario, you get a vet who's been on like t- playoff runs, someone that can help mentor this very, very young team in OKC and to be like a third or fourth option. So, Hey, that was, that's something that could, that could help you like in the long haul, that wisdom and such a guy with Gordon Hayward who's been around the block a couple times in the playoffs. So it helps a lot. So um, this is a call recap. If you want to know the full thing, uh, me and John did an NBA trade deadline show. It's it's live. It, it went live at 2, but it's already already be uploaded since it was the live. So tune into that. It should be somewhere on the channel. Probably like one of the next few live videos, like one of the newest ones. So go check it out. Uh, so we're going to start off with – uh, activities first because the Super Bowl's last game of the the year, so we want to get it off during the last end of the show. So we're gonna start off with the grid. I'm just gonna pull it up real quick. Let's see, boom, 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 boom. So today's grid it might be a little tough, but who knows. Okay, let me know when y'all see it. Let me get out, get out this ad. They popped up, yep. Yeah. Okay, 
So top and left, uh, who wants to kick things off? Goddamn ads. Elijah. I'm, just, I'm not there yet. I'm not even looking at it. Oh, what is going on? There's no pictures. There's no color. What is this? Is the no offense. This is the yeah, whitest no team brand just, ever. It's just what the hell? What offense would there be, John? You're white. I mean, okay. Well, I'm just saying. Well, black is I don't know. Adrian oh. Peterson, teammate, one kick return, one return touchdown. Did they play together in Washington? I'm gonna say Deshaun Jackson. Great pick. Oh, no. Nope. No, they didn't. Let me, okay, cool. Let me change this up real quick. Um, there we go. Now it's unlimited guesses. Um, John, you want me to go or are you? You can go. Sorry. I'm still looking at how oh, it's usable. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try the kick return to punt returner, Adrian Peterson, teammate. I'm going to say Percy Harvin. That works. Yeah, Percy Harvin's there. We got John. First round pick played in two Super Bowls. We're gonna go Eli Manning. Yeah. Hopefully that's a rare one. I don't think anyone, you know, guesses Eli like that, but you know, maybe not. I hope not. Probably. Eleven percent. Hey. Okay. Elijah, back to you. Four passing tutties in a game played in two Super Bowls. Oh, nope. I like that square myself. No, no sucked up. Hmm. Played in two Super Bowls. Give me. Did he? No, he didn't. Damn. Agent Peterson, teammate, first round pick. I can't think right now. I don't know what's going on with me, man. Mm, that'd be good. We all have those. Yeah, you're good. Pass. Uh, let's see. Four passing touchdowns in the game. Adrian Peterson, teammates. Brett Favre? Have you ever done? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. John. Uh, Adrian Peterson, teammate. Uh, first round pick. Let me go Teddy Bridgewater. Five point five. That's the best one so far. Hey. Four passing touchdowns in a game, Pro Football Hall of Fame inductee. Give me. I feel like there's no way he didn't do this. So, Johnny Unitas. I like that poll. Oh, first. Yeah. There we go. Uh, Four passing touchdowns in a game. Played in two Super Bowls. I'm trying to. Uh, obvious answer would be Mahomes. But, yeah, I'm trying to think of a rare one. Mm, did? No. Mm, well, I'll go Mahomes. Fuck it. Oh, it's under 10? That's crazy. Up to you, John. Uh, okay. Um, no, he only didn't play in two. Mm, this is tough. This is tough. Um, Sorry. Sorry I'm taking so long. Thank you. Just racking my brain right now for a first round pick that's a pro football hall of fame inductee. Um I have a name. I don't know if he was drafted in the first round though. I low key all right, I, I'm okay with getting this wrong, but can we try Devin Hester for pro football duct? He's gonna be in it. Does that count or no? We'll find out. Cause I mean I have to put. Oh, has no, to be not yet. Like yeah, gotta be some okay. legitimate in there. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll pass for this round because that was a bad guess. All right, I don't know if this guy was drafted in the first round, but I feel I find it hard to believe that he wasn't. So I'm gonna go Warren Sapp for first round pick, Pro Football Hall inductee uh, fame. He was. That was a great one. 
Boom. Hey, one one percent. Under one percent. Nice. Do you know he slid? Uh, see, really? Shit. Yeah, in the draft he slid. That's why I got scared. I'm like, did he go in the second? Or was it just late first? He was like mid first, but yeah, you're right. Kick return, punt return, touchdown. I want to say that one too, but I'm not sure. I want to say Cordell Patterson. I want to give it a I don't shot. Think he played in two, I don't even think he played in one Super Bowl. Hmm. I'm going to try it out just to be safe. You're probably right. I just want to check it out. Oh, you're right. I got one. Go ahead. Playing two Super Bowls, uh, one kick return, one punt return, touchdown. Let me give me Neon Deion Sanders. Ah, that's a good answer. Did he play in two? I was gonna go Julian Edelman there. He used to also, that, yeah, do that. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Fuck. He used to return kicks in um in New England, no? Yeah, he did. Yeah. All right, kick return, punt return, touchdown, Pro Football Hall of Fame and Duck D. Hmm. I feel like there's no way he didn't do this. Did he? Nah, I don't think he returned kicks anyway. Oh, he has five touchdowns in your career. You're right, Elijah. But Alderman. Let's see. Hmm. So Owens didn't return kicks. Um Josh Cribbs wasn't good enough. Mm. Maybe a DB. Give me Antonio Cromarty. He used to return kicks. And I'm pretty sure he's in there by now. Is he in there by now? Nope. Ah, okay. Um, I'm going to say Dante Hall. Oh, God. All right, give me the late, the great Gale Sayers. Yeah, go ahead, bro. You got this. Because. <laughs> Good carry. Thank you. There it is. They made a 8%. whole movie about him. Yeah. Hey, John, carry this one. No, nah, I think I missed uh, one. Yeah. Oh. And, and Elijah had the most rare one. one. That Don't Warren Sapp pull, I love Elijah. That was oh, an yeah. insane pull, dog. Yeah. Oh. 97%, no, 0.97%. I was just hoping he went in the first. That's like man. Right, yeah. <laughs> you you got to watch hey, his uh, right. his draft well, day thing, uh, though, Elijah. Because he talks about how he, he hated, he didn't want to go to the Bucks because of uh, the creamsicles. Like he thought they were ugly. Oh, the jerseys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which now is like looked upon as like a cool jersey. You know what I mean? Back then, Warren Sapp was just like, this team never wins. This color is stupid. That's funny. Yeah, you got a ring with him, though. Yeah, facts. Doesn't mean a thing if you don't get that ring. As the Pippin Bulls might say. But, uh, hey, we have, that's our grid. We have plenty of them down below. We'll see you in the next one. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to go to the best Super Bowl halftime show. We're going to go to the bracket challenge. Uh, how do we want to decide as a team? How do you I feel do like this? we know. You know what I mean? Like, we'll know. Gotcha. And and, and then we'll do majority, two, two, out of, two to one or two whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's two out of three ones. Gotcha. So we're going to go back to here. It's going to be sweet, sweet 16, so it probably will be really quick. I already know okay. who my winner is, but it's out there there. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Janet Jackson and Paul McCartney, is, we're going to mute it because we don't want to get copyrighted. Is the Janet Jackson one, is that the – There you go. Is that the one where she got her titty pulled out? 2004. That's what I was saying. Uh, I, believe I hope so. so. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with Janet Jackson yeah, so for my vote. Mine. Do not. Re- no, I'm just I'm skimming through it so it doesn't pop out. Oh, wait, there's a like right Stop. there. Yep, it is. Yep, that's it the is, one. It is, it is. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, winner. All right. I'm only saying Janet because Paul McCartney is not somebody I really like to see. Coldplay, easily. Yeah, okay. Cool play. That's when they brought out Bruno. Yeah. They did. They did bring up Bruno. 
Damn, that's a video on Oh yeah, video contains. Uh, yeah. Hey, thank thank you for doing that. Dr. Dre okay, so. easily. Yeah, Dr. Dre, I'll take. Easy. Katie Perry. That was in Detroit too, right? No, nah, it wasn't in no? Detroit. My bad. Oh. The I hated both. Wait, no, yep, I remember the Madonna today. one. I the Madonna one was like one of the first that I really watched, and I hated it so much. Really? You're, okay. Overlay. I mean, I Lady Gaga. I have to go Gaga. She did more in that Super Bowl, anyways. When it comes to theatrics, wasn't she the Which one that like had had the a carnage on her back and just went like, or she jumped off the stadium, something like that? Yeah, it was. I think she came down, but yeah. So John, what you saying? I'm going. Yeah, Gaga. Gaga. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go. Oh. Okay. Next up. Ooh, Bruno yeah, Mars 2014 Bruno. and Aerosmith and Sync 2021. Bruno. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna go Bruno. Beyonce came out Bruno. at that one too. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, that's tough to beat. Okay, so Rolling Stones 2006 or the weekend 2021. You're gonna hate me, but I'm gonna go Rolling Stones here. <laughs> I don't like the weekend, so my bias is saying go Rolling Stones. But I don't remember watching the Rolling Stones halftime show, so I have to go weekend. Damn, I might go weekend too because I, I have not seen it. I apologize, John. That's fine. He's losing the next round. His was okay at best. I don't mean to be like that. No, yeah, for sure. I wasn't a fan oh, yeah. of it, for real. My neck was hurting the entire time. Next up. Ooh. Oh, Shakira and J Lo, and then Michael Jackson, nineteen ninety three. All right, Ooh, Michael Jackson. 93. Yeah, Michael that's Jackson, that's that's so oh, unfortunate. Michael ninety three. Because if Shakira was against anybody else, yeah, I'll go Michael Jackson. I ain't gonna lie, Michael's is one that I actually went. It is, a is iconic. Yeah. Beyonce. I'm sorry, yeah. but Bruce. Yep. I don't care. Oh. <laughs> I don't care what Bruce Springsteen did. You wasn't outperforming Beyonce's. Yeah. Shit. I mean, Bruce I mean, inspired yeah, J-Lo in a sense. I'm just saying, I'll go. I, it's all right. I'm, I'm he, being outvoted. I'm from Jersey. He can out inspire whoever he wants. You're not outperforming Beyonce. Queen. Second okay, so round. We're in the second round now. Janet Jackson and Coldplay. Coldplay. Because, again, Janet Dancing. and Justin, they're electric, but they're not outperforming Bruno. John. And people be sleeping uh, on Coldplay. I just want to say that. Let's not sleep on these bands, guys. It was okay. it was all right. I don't. It, I I think Janet is more iconic. So I'll go Janet. You can pick. You can Janet is them. oh for sure. Janet is more iconic. Yeah, that's why I would pick that. I, I, I think like they're Coldplay gonna lose. Bruno was more electric. I don't feel like they they go farther anyways. You know what I mean? So it's just I I feel like you're right. Like it, it it's there's like two or three that are like to the finals and. Everything else is like, mm. but yeah, I'll go Janet here. Mm-hmm. Fill your pick. Shoot. Damn. So it's going to be a tiebreaker for most of them. Um, to be honest, I did like Coldplay's more, but the only thing I remember from Janet Jackson was the iconic titty pop. So I'm going to have to go with Coldplay. And that was during a Super Bowl, uh, Patriots Super Bowl, dog, 2004. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, Beyonce versus I'm Michael gonna Jackson. Michael. I'm going to go Michael Jackson here. I'm sorry. Oh, this is tough. Because so Bruno tough. Mars also has Beyonce, so I I, I kind of like that Beyonce performance more than all the Beyonce songs. Sorry, yeah, but, but yeah, this, that 2013 Beyonce one was crazy. It was good. Was don't get me wrong. Isn't it crazy that they're 20 years apart too? Yeah. So what's your vote? Uh, Michael Jackson. All right, that. Yeah, both voted Michael. Go ahead. Oh, sorry about it. But I say it does not matter, so we won't even hear what I'll say. Dr. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre. Uh, unanimous here, please. Left side. Strong side. Okay, Bruno Mars, 2014. And Bruno. Lady Gaga, 2017. I'm pretty sure going Bruno. i probably right? still go Bruno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going Bruno. Ding, ding. Okay, so we got Bruno this versus Dr. Dre. All right. So this Bruno performance is right after Uptown Funk. You got to remember that's when that was. Yeah. 
I mean, Andy brought up Beyonce, and it was he iconic. Brought up Beyonce. They did that whole dance. It was, you know what I mean. But the Dr. Dre one was very started with Fifty, bro. It did. It did. I mean, pulled up. Snoop pulled up. He was upside down and everything. Snoop did pull up. So I mean, you could you could go either way here. I don't think there's a loser in this. Yeah. In terms of camera work and theatrics, I'm gonna go Bruno. But in terms of which was a like more nostalgic performance that I like thoroughly like just enjoyed for the people that were there is Dre. Sure. I I got oh my gosh. What's your answers? I'm for Bruno. me. For I'm me, Bruno's a dark that. horse for like almost winning it all. Like that's how good that super like I think he's mad slept on. So personally. John, what's your pick though? You going Bruno? Bruno, 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 no doubt. Yeah. All right, so Bruno wins. We're not I'm not picking. Why can't you pick? I want it to be unanimous. Y'all here, both you know? pick. <laughs> Y'all both pick Bruno. Because I'm pretty sure Elijah was torn. Either way. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you can pick Dr. Dre. There's nothing wrong with standing on your morals. I stood on Bruce Springsteen. I'm not well. picking anybody, man. Okay. <laughs> Bright side. We'll have to make the pick. Next one is Beyonce and, um, oh, I mean, Michael and Coldplay. Michael We're going with I, Michael. Yeah. Michael Jackson, please. Yeah. Michael. Oh. So the, the championship. This is what it should be. This I'm going to just I'm, say this, though. This low-key to me right here, this matchup right here, is actually a matchup of two of the greatest performers of all time. That's what I'm saying. That's what, yeah. The only other name I can throw in there to say he's a great performer like these two is not even, never mind. I would say Chris, but he's not even at their level. What about Beyonce? Well, Beyonce is in this Bruno Mars one. Like, that's one of the cameos. Oh, you know. I think like in general, that, like in well, general. I'm I I I have Beyonce third. Okay. Yeah. Me personally. No, she's definitely she's definitely top three. I just think, you know, a lot of people have Beyonce second, and I'm not gonna, you know, I. If you have Beyonce second, like you're not gonna hear argument from me. Like it's like, you can put her second, and I understand entirely. It's just that for mm -hmm. me with Bruno, maybe I. I just like his songs more than I like Beyonce songs, so that's why sure. I say Bruno second. So that's what he's doing with his songs, like everything, yeah, that's why I have Bruno second. But if somebody else has Beyonce second, it's like Beyonce can be second as well, and I could just be wrong. Gotcha. But um, what y'all picks here? What, what you got, Elijah? I know yeah, John got Michael. Smoke. John got Michael. Yeah, I do. I'm Michael. He, he, Bruno Mars. I don't mean to. This is this is gonna be disrespectful to Bruno Mars, and he's my dark horse second. But like, Bruno Mars is like a baby Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? He's like he wants to grow up to be MJ, but like he just can't because Michael was just in that iconic. No, but like I'm just saying, like Michael Jackson really hit it when MTV like was fired. You know what I mean? Like anybody who talks about MTV talks about Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not um. Like if Bruno had more like 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 push, like I think he'd be up there. But like like you were saying with Beyonce, like she she reaches like demographics that like others don't. And I think Bruno's also with that. You know what I mean? So Yeah. Um So what you got? Oh wait, what you got? I'll, I'll be tiebreaker. I'm I'm gonna i I'll say my answer. I'm just thinking. Okay, you have to say your answer for the final. Yeah, because like I'll, I'll I will definitely say an answer for the final. Okay, uh, but what you got? I love both of these too. It's just like we're we also got to think about the time frame here. Like I like I said, like Bruno, this is right after Uptown Funk. Like Bruno was MJ in the nineties, right before like right before Twenty Four Karat Magic. This is right after on the heel of Beyonce, what she did, and then he came out and he did not disappoint. Nope. He went super crazy, and, and we Beyonce came out as well with him. And it was just crazy. But yeah. we're talking about Michael in the nineties. Yeah, nope. no. And we this weren't alive, but I've watched right that after again he turned again. White. Right, <laughs> right after he turned white, so it was a skin disease. Yeah, he had vitiligo, and then um, he bleached the rest because he didn't like the. Yeah. Yeah, but you know. You know how people differentiate it? It's black Michael and it's white Michael. Yeah. Hmm. But like right after he turned white, that was when he was the best performer. Right. 
Uh, no, I, I kind of like that, that's turned into that. I don't mean to like debate on this, Elijah, but I kind of like Black Michael more than White Michael personally. But that's just listen. Me. You ain't say listen. I agree. Okay, thank you. We're talking about thriller. <laughs> We're talking about thriller off the wall. Black Michael was a little crazy. Yeah, he was all, and you you, you say his younger years. You know what I mean when he was in part of the Jackson Five. Oh my god. Yeah, uh, my pick here is I'm going Michael. Okay. Oh, so we're, we're good. Perfect. Because John, you picked Michael too, right? Yeah. Oh, easy. Yeah, I'm picking Bruno. Sorry, actually, I lied. I oh. like it. Break it up. That's what I'm talking about. Bruno deserves the vote. Vote. Phil, who are you picking? Phil, pick your heart out. Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, That's I'm Michael cool. too. Yeah. Everybody's like, like, Michael yeah. unanimous. Yeah, I was about to say. Whew. Hey, we earned some XP too. Hey, shout out. So yeah, we have other brackets as well on the podcast segments playlist. Feel free to check any of those out. I think the last one we did was a food one with Walid. So hey, we have other ones. So tune into those. We'll see you in the next one. Bow. So the time has come. This Sunday in Las Vegas, San Fran versus KC. Big game. One last game to end off the year. Both teams, very interesting roads. Where do we start? Do we start off with who, what? What's the coin toss going to be? How long is the national anthem going to be? Text that to that, Elijah it, too. Text that to Elijah too. <laughs> that's we that's already know who those pick is. <laughs> we saw it on IBT last night. Yeah. Or is it maybe a pick to try to draw John off? Mm. Maybe. Who knows? Mm. Well, Normally I'll we agree say this. Um, I'm not going to say whether or not I agree with Phil or whether I agree with John, but um, my pick for this Sunday is I'm going to root for the 49ers. But my pick to actually win the game is Kansas City. Okay. I just think that the NFL is too much of a business. And... Look... I know, I know everybody, you know, likes to say games are rigged and, you know, NBA and stuff is rigged, blah, 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 blah. I don't think people realize how storyline life actually is. So, like, yes, we can sit here and say, oh, the games are rigged. They just want NF- uh, Mahomes to be the golden boy. They want him to be the next Brady, blah, 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 blah. I don't think people realize how, like, life is so storyline. Did you see that interview on uh, Super Bowl Sunday with uh, Mahomes? No, I didn't. He uh, he talks about somebody asked him if uh, he could pass Brady or whatever, and he said, "I don't even want to talk about that now. I'm I'm trying to be people who like have four Super Bowls. You know what I mean? Like, he asked me that in a couple of years, but I, I'll have to win eight because I lost them in one of the Super Bowls. So like, he's I mean, he's holding himself to high standards, and I mean, maybe higher than we're holding them to. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean. <clears throat> I'll be honest. I think Mahomes passing Brady is not going to take seven Super Bowls. Yeah, I don't think he needs seven either. I, I think do. if he gets a calm five, we can look at Mahomes as the greatest of all time, especially yeah. in the span of like how he's doing this. Like, If he wins this year, he's already top three all time. Let's be honest. He passes Peyton this year. Oh, yeah. The Super Bowl. He passed like he's there with Montana and Brady. That those are the only two above him. Yeah, so, I wouldn't count Bradshaw in that category. But no, nope, not count Bradshaw, yeah. not counting Eli, not counting Peyton, not counting. Uh, give me some other. Brett Favre. No way. Yeah, not Brett. Hold on. Not counting Unitas. Not counting Namus. He's past Breeze already. Yeah. No, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I. I don't know. I I think the ring conversation definitely. You know what I mean. Like I I'm I'm not saying he needs to win seven, but no, the rings hold weight. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Yeah. yeah. But like I like said, if Mahomes gets five, and especially if he gets five within the next like six seven years, there's 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 really no debate. Yeah, because the Brady's were like spread out, and if if he gets five with maybe even passes some of Brady's accomplishments, he definitely has a case, or like he definitely should be considered the goat. Like it's very mm-hmm. scary. Like, it's just honestly speaking from an honors perspective, I'm not showing any bias towards Mahomes or away from Mahomes. 
what he's done since he's become the starter in Kansas City is insane. He hasn't missed a uh, an AFC Championship game. Yeah, he hasn't missed an AFC Championship game. He's only really missed what two Super Bowls? One which was I count as his rookie year because that was his first year as a starter, mm-hmm. and two, which was what two years ago when Burrow beat him. He's only missed one Super Bowl. He's perform like he's always putting his team in positions to win. He's not even losing those games by a lot. Right. I I just I mean, think he's so young and he has so much of a career left. Twenty eight. Yeah. I, I I can't wait to see what he does. You know what I mean to prove it. You know what I mean. Yeah, like, I think because Brady he played like what twenty seven years and got seven, and Mahomes is at what two right now. Yeah. And he's only played like what five, five six years. Five six years. Yeah. But That's I mean, scary. in Brady's five six years, he had three Super Bowls. You know what I mean? Like it's it's right. it racks up. It's kind of close to close. I mean, it is right? Because it think about it. if if Brady had like two separate Hall of Fame careers in one, Mahomes definitely has a chance to do the same thing, but in, in like a quicker fashion. But it's getting it's it's gonna be a fun game. I'm excited. To see. We Plus, a lot of legacies, and we don't know what's gonna happen. They could the the Chiefs went out and got Kadarius Tony. They could screw this up for Mahomes. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this, not like you know what I mean. Like Brady had to, Brady had nothing for a couple of years in New England. Like as a Jets fan, it was awesome to watch. Once he got Randy Moss, it was scary. Like it was, I had nightmares. He also did like, with like, yeah, like Mahomes next year. What if Mahomes next year gets freaking Mike Evans or he yeah. gets freaking T Higgins? T. Higgins? Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, scary. from from here on out, we should probably just assume. Mahomes is going to the AFC Championship regardless, and they should be Super Bowl favorites every single year until un- until for another one. See, Phil, don't make don't make assumptions like that because I'll make bets. Think I, I won't get on my I bet line. I will. I agree with Phil. I hear that, I mean, but I'm, I, I'll get on my bet line. I don't know if the enemy comes back, like I see happening. Mm-hmm. It's really going to be scary. Yeah. Okay. Plus, we this is probably offensively, you know. We've seen him lose Tyree Kill. We've seen him lose other players. This is with Ricky, not Ricky, maybe like second year player Rasheed Rice, Kadarius Tony, Sky Moore, MVS. But your your constant there is still Travis Kelsey. This is the Sky Moore's offense. been out too. I mean, he's, he's Rice is pretty damn good. Apparently, they activated him this week, so I don't know if he's playing for sure, but he's definitely available to play. Well, he's he's throwing to Rasheed Rice, who's un- very unproven. He's been. Uh. Foreman, so not gonna take that away from him. He's throwing Travis Kelsey, who is probably the second greatest tight end of all time. Which True. another argument? I don't think anybody's passing Gronk, but um, I think I think he is gonna pass Gronk low key. I think I I'd take Kelsey over Gronk. It depends on how much longer he plays for real. Yeah. I think but, longevity um, in a career definitely. You know what I mean? But but here we're talking about Gronk. What how many rings does Gronk have? Four? No, three, three or four. Three. I think, I think it's four. Let me check. Check that. He has a 2014, 2017. No, 20. Oh, yeah. Does, yeah. 2018. And the, the Bucks ring. That's four. He has four, yes. Okay. And Travis Kelsey has two? Yeah, he's going to have three. But Kelsey needs, like, Kelsey, you don't have to do more. Yeah, he, he needs, needs that one as well. He actually needs the numbers to, to really pass when wrong. Like, but aside from all that, like I said, it's just looking. It's. If the Chiefs win this year, they're like, it's. I think this will be the official start of the next dynasty. I agree, just because day in day out, they've they've proven it with star players. They've proven it with not that many star players. The defense has been amazing all year. They're like top two, top three in, in stats. But Darius Sneed, Chris Jones, and others have been balling. Just. They're proven that you put it like Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and others. As long as the constants are there, like the certain team players are there, they could take you to the bowl or close to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Steve Spagnuolo is going to be a a huge factor in this game. Like, it's a major factor. Like, and I mean, all those weapons on San Fran. He took two Super Bowl rings away from Tom Brady himself. So, I mean, like, like, to. I, I don't. I'm not sleeping on the Chiefs' defense. Hopefully, hopefully. I mean, yeah. I might regret that later on. But I mean, yeah, because you know they shut down Lamar Jackson last week, and then they did pretty good against the 
well, not pretty good, but they, the Bills, obviously the Bills have good games against them all the time. It's a rivalry sure. at this point. So, But then the Dolphins, they hold the Dolphins in cold-ass weather. So, And plus, this is, I mean, they're facing Brock Purdy. Uh, this is, they're not, he's not Lamar, he's not Tua, but it's going to be tough with the offense for San Fran. So many weapons, Debo, Ayuk, Kittle, CMC. So it's going to be a real test for both teams. Plus, San Fran got, um, was a little shaky that first half against Detroit. If they if they start off like that against Mahomes, this game might be over halftime because I don't I don't think Mahomes and the Chiefs are that type of team to blow a lead like how Detroit did. Hopefully, I don't know. We saw remember Ray Lewis's Ravens after that uh, that blackout in New Orleans. Yeah, that was a little scary to see Colin Kaepernick come back like that. I'm not gonna front. I was yeah. like, I, I I I'm hoping, and I I'm pretty sure Mahomes and the the KC aren't that type of team to lose a lead like that. True, but if if he does. Oof conversations but yeah i mean also there's a, diff- a lot of different factors coaching kyle shanahan the san fran coach oh three versus andy reed hopefully he doesn't play himself out the game like he did the last time they faced off they're up like 10 in the fourth quarter correct and they, so. they they lost the lead so hopefully a scenario like that because as a coach that's probably in your head like you don't want to make the same mistakes you did last time so the only cute. difference is last time the chiefs had tyreek yep and the 49ers have a, a CMC. It's going to be oof. It's going to be very tough. But I think, I think the, the way that the 49ers win this game is through their defense. Sorry, I mean to cut you off, but their oh, defense no. and leaning on their run game. Sure. Yep. McCaffrey, 40 touches. <laughs> Debo, 40 touches. What if touches. Brock Purdy comes out? What if he comes out and, and just surprises people? Hey. I mean, I don't think what? he will. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But for him. If he does, okay. Because, no, but is he um, gonna get the credit he deserves? Like, what? Like, if he got Super Bowl MVP, if he threw, if he threw three, four touchdowns, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. are people gonna complain? If, if you if you ball out in the Super Bowl, you deserve MVP. If sure. if the stats prove that you 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 did what you had to do and you deserve MVP honors, you deserve the credit. Yeah. No, I'm just asking because like we we've, we've talked all year about the weapons around him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, what I'm saying is, like, what happens if Debo gets two touchdowns and CMC has a touchdown, but, like, it's receiving, and then, uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, Kittle has, like, 90 catches or something. If they're, all, if, I mean? if they're all screen passes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I, I totally hear what you're saying. Like, it's got to be – it's he's definitely got to throw it downfield to, to get that. I'm just saying. I mean, also, question for you, John. Okay. Do you think Kyle Shanahan might, you know, try to protect – Brock Purdy and not like have him, you know, un- un- unleash the playbook and try to, you know, hey, here's do a do a deep throw or hey, try to test out your your accuracy or who does he want to play safe? Like Elijah said, run the ball a lot of the time. Debo Samuel screen passes, wider uh, wider jet um, sweep, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Or do you think he wants to try to say see what Brock Purdy's made of and try to touch him with some throws down the field? I, I think it's going to depend on the time of the game and what's happening in the game because like Spagnola and it, it's a chess match. It really is. I. I mean, I, I, I'm probably giving way too much credit to Spagnola. Do you know what I mean? But, like, I Chandler Jones in that defense and Sneed and, like, these guys are elite. You know what I mean? Like, we're talking about Patrick Mahomes. Like, yeah, they, some of these defenders are, yeah. are crazy. Like, and, like, the thing is you, you see holes in them and then you see how they fix their holes. You know what I mean? Like, but, I mean, I, I think it's going to depend. Uh I hope that, and this is, if, if the 49ers want to win, they have to put the gas pedal down in the third and fourth quarter. There's leaving nothing on the field. Don't run out the clock. I mean, I mean, run the ball. You know what I mean? But like if CMC is not getting first downs, you got to have to be aggressive. You know what I mean? Right. It's going to be very interesting. Like I said, uh, Andy Reid versus Sienna Hans is going to be a chess match because there's obviously the history for the past, the last Super Bowl. So it's going to be whoever can spot the weaknesses of the others first. It's going to I think it's going to be a lot of back and forth. It's going to be very interesting to see how everything plays out. But, hey, like I said, we're going to give our picks to Elijah, and then we're going to reveal who picked who on the NFL Awards show, which will be coming up next week. We're going to give Whoa. our awards. What? We're not We're not announcing it tonight? Which who we? picked two? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I want to get like a, li- like a little like, suspense moment for the award show. Maybe. No, 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 no. I'm fine with knowing you won. It's it's okay. You know what I mean? It's okay. Especially when the confetti drops. Should the confetti be dropping, John, this game? Or? Oh, my God. Elijah, <laughs> can I ask you a question? <laughs> I think he's, oh, on, he's, mute right he's now. on pause for a second. Hold on. Well, when Elijah comes back. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. My fault. Okay, I forgot okay. I was muted. Uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you think 
regular NBA teams during regular season games should drop confetti after wins? No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I guess, all right, I was watching the Jazz game this week, all right? And, like, don't get me wrong. They won a game they weren't supposed to win, and it was a great win. Yeah, Yeah, it was a great win. You know what I mean? And hats off to them. You know what I mean? But I saw confetti falling, like, Kobe Bryant scored his, like, 80 second pointers. Like, I don't, like, what are we throwing confetti for? Like, and then Phil's like, oh, yeah, that happens during, like, random, like, regular season. I'm like, what? And I'm fine with it, I guess, but it's just, like, I I don't know. Don't call the basketball teams do that, too. And okay. it, it's got to be, like, important, yeah. though. You know what I mean? Like like an upset or something. It, it, yeah, maybe if it's an upset and it's a rivalry game. But I just – it was a random Tuesday night. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, what? Yeah. yeah. I mean, because oh, oh, the, the, the teams in the West are stacked right now. All of them are tied. Well, not the Clippers anymore. But most of them are tied. So, I guess it was a big upset for the Jazz. So, yeah. Sure. But, um, Elijah, any factors for you for this game? Like I said, man, Niners just got to lean into their run game. Not put too much on Purdy. Are you afraid they're going to get away from that at all? Like, you know what I mean? Yes. It's like Every single team that they that Chiefs have played has strayed away from the run game. We're like, not Miami as much because they're not really a running team, but mm-hmm. Buffalo, they lean into their run game and James Cook and went on a six-game win streak during the regular season. They got to Kansas City and just Josh Allen was just throwing the ball 40, 50 times. For what? The Ravens were the best rushing team in the league during a regular season. They hung up how much on the on the on the forty niners? Supposedly the best defense, forty two. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. They put a fifty six there in the last week or the second to last week. And now all of a sudden, we in can um we at home against Kansas City. And we throwing the ball like there's no tomorrow. All right, cool, yeah. Forty ers be smart. Don't deviate from your original game plan because pound for pound, y'all, your O line is better, and Christian McCaffrey's Christian McCaffrey, like bro, he's in the MVP race for a reason. Okay, yeah. They they have a thousand yards. Yes. Yeah, Thinking yeah, yeah. Like Fifteen or sixteen. Aside from that, you still have Debo also on the ring on the wing, who's yes, Mister Yak. You have Ayuk, where Purdy gets on the ball in the right spots, he's gonna make a play. Kittle will make a play. So don't deviate from your original game plan. Just play ball, man. That's all I gotta say. Gotcha. Mm, so yeah, so um, there's gonna be some random ass props throughout the game. And we're not betting people, but I just see, I just want to see where y'all head that for certain props of this game. Like, what do we think will happen, might not happen? So I got some props in my head. It's not going to count towards anything. It's just straight opinion. So it's not a, a serious take or serious record. But um, coin toss, what do you think it's going to be? I'm picking tips. I got heads. I don't give a fuck. I'm not picking. Gotcha. Uh, first touchdown. You know, I got a weird name, which nobody would expect for real. I got Mahomes first study. Ooh, okay. I like that. John? Hmm, first study. If I got a pick for the Niners, I'm taking use check. I like that Ooh. as well. He scored in the last Super Bowl. Does he score again? That's tough. Use check is their prime time guy. He is. Uh, I probably go Ayuk. Honestly, if I, I think I think the 49ers strike first, and it's it's a match, it's a battle. I think this is a high scoring game. If if we can agree on anything, right? We all think this is going to be a good Super Bowl. Yeah. So, who do you got for the Chiefs? I don't what know about do? high scoring, but I feel like over twenty one points is high, right? Or no? Total? No, like like what I'm saying is if oh, both teams, teams pass 20, 21 points. You know what I mean? Like a 28 okay. to 30 I mean, something. If that's the case, then yeah. I was thinking okay. high scoring is like 31, 34 like they did last year. Or something. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's, that's it's, a good point. Gotcha. Uh, who do you think scores first time first for the Chiefs if they do get it? Oh, me? Uh, you're going to hate this name. Uh, I can't even remember his name. It's the second tight end. 
uh, from the Chiefs. Noah Gray. Noah Gray scores the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. I'm calling it right now. I swear to God, they go to Noah Gray in these moments, and he catches it, and he scores, and it's like what? And yeah, it's gonna imagine. be a great That'd cash out. The um, odds for that gotta be crazy. I'm gonna look into that one. <laughs> no, it's probably, it I'm looking at it too. To be honest, they just they just double Kelsey most of the time, and then they go to Noah Gray. Yeah, because I feel like the all the attention is to be at Kelsey near that red zone, so they're gonna forget about Noah Gray. I mean, it'd be awesome. Like, uh, Akeem was was it Akeem or was it Elijah that called uh, OBJ? It was Akeem. Okay, and he I was mad at me after. That's why I was telling my whole like I was watching it with my my buddies and like my dad, and I was like, "Watch, OBJ is gonna get a touchdown." My buddy called it, and he he did get a touchdown. I was like, oh. 4,800 first touchdown for Noah Gray." Maybe I put two bucks on that. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, for me, I'm gonna go Pacheco uh, for KC. <laughs> And let's go obvious. Christian McCaffrey, first touchdown for the 49ers. That's smart. He, he's been their workhorse for the whole season. You might as well. Why, like what I said, why stray away from your game plan? Uh, let's see. Ooh, Next. I just thought of something crazy. It's not going to happen, but. What? First Teddy Ray Ray McLeod or Jennings, whoever their kicker. Oh, that would be crazy. It, it's that- happened in the past. Remember that um, first touchdown for the guy that played against the, the Giants? What was the name? Blake Bell or something like that? So, something like that would that. be crazy. Yeah. Um, All right, but uh, moving on. Sorry. Gotcha. Um, okay, so the over-under is at 47 and a half. Over, over-under. Together, Ooh. it's combined? Yep. 47, I'm going to say under. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over as well. I do fit. I feel like the game finishes like 24 21. I could see that for sure. It all depends on the beginning of the game. If they start off slow or not for me. Um, and they're probably one of the last two. Uh, Super Bowl MVP. Depends on the winner. Yeah, it depends on the winner. You do one for each side. Because I think the Chiefs win, I'm going to say Mahomes. Gotcha. But if the Niners win, it's going to be hard for it not to be McCaffrey, I think. John? You're going to think I'm crazy here. But if the Chiefs win and Travis Kelsey has a game, they're going to give it to Travis Kelsey. They want to see Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey together. They, You know what I mean? They, they're going to give it to Kelsey if they win. Uh, for the San Francisco the, San, San Francisco side, just to piss everyone off, I'd give it to uh, uh, the youngin, the uh, Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy, yeah. Oh, just to yeah. just to piss. I mean, he's a quarterback. Everybody, yeah, everybody does it. You know what I mean? Everyone's gonna be like, he doesn't deserve it. I mean, they'll probably go to CMC, but it, I'll pick Purdy. Um, for me, probably Mahomes for Kansas City, and for San Fran, hmm, CMC is the obvious one for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go CMC because I feel like what Elijah said. They're gonna, they're, he's gonna be the workhorse. He's the workhorse all season. Got to be the workhorse in the Super Bowl. True. And uh, last one, random prop. Like, is someone gonna score two touchdowns or like this, or some random, random shit, or like a correct score? Or we got actually fine. Wait, wait, yeah. What, what do you think the score is gonna be? That'd be the last one. That one's better. I have no idea. I'll give you a random Super Bowl fact. Correct okay. score, 21-24. Chiefs? Yeah. If, you got, if, if I had to guess, uh, I'd guess uh, 31-21. Like, uh, like the like magician. Said. Yeah. No, like the magician said at the beginning thought, of the year. Oh, because okay, I can't say from the magician. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Hardman, the Hardman pick. But uh, my fun fact is Walter Payton never scored in the Super Bowl. Did you how know many, that? How, how many did he play in? He won, and he never scored in it. He was the war curse all year for Chicago, and he never scored in the Super Bowl. Well, damn. How crazy is that? Right. Um, for me, I'm going to mm, – I feel like whoever wins is going to be 31-28 or maybe like 31-27. It's going to be between okay. that range for whoever wins. So, um, last words before we head out. Elijah, can you uh, tell us uh, who we're all picking? Oh, I'm sending right now. Hold on. No. Why not? I'm not going to say until after. 
Why not? I mean, after what? The Super Bowl? Yeah. Then what was the point of this? What was Suspense. the point of picking well, people? Picks. So I have your picks. Suspense. Oh, whatever. Uh, we can't. I'd rather just say mine. Like, instead of just let it be lingering. So it's going to be in your head throughout the entire Super Bowl. Like, yeah, I'd ra- look- rather just know. I'd rather just score. know. <laughs> no, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'd rather just like that. I'd rather just know you won and congratulate you. You know what I mean? Then, then it be announced. Like, it does, I mean, I don't, I don't think it matters that much. I mean, that's hey, we got, we got pickums on the line. Of course, it matters. Okay, cool. Competition. I'm gonna go with Kansas City to jinx myself. I'm not. I'm not. I don't care. That's who I'm picking. I'm be honest. Hey, we'll figure out my pick on the next show on the award show. Sure. Um, so what you got for last words? Before I head up. Um, enjoy the game, guys. Um, bet responsibly. Last game of the season. If you're gonna bet, bet responsibly. But for real, just enjoy the game. Enjoy the time with whoever you're watching it with. And uh, yeah, man, that's all I gotta say for real. Just enjoy it, man. I'm gonna have a good weekend. Got a game Saturday night. Got this game Sunday. Just have fun. Enjoy the weekend, guys. And I'll be back. Well, I'll see y'all. Uh, last words. Uh, does Kadarius Tony score in the Super Bowl? After his comments of "All you gotta do is throw me the ball," it would Honestly, be exciting. It would be, be exciting. I wouldn't be surprised. Did you see that? Did you see that interview though? Yeah, he said he's I'll- like, "Am I number one? Who's the number one? Or I am? All you gotta do is throw me the ball." That was wild. Imagine all this buildup of him being bad all season just for him to show up in a Super Bowl and ball out. Does he OBJ it? Does he, like, legitimately have a shot at MVP? I hope not. And Could you imagine? It's mid, mid-game. mid Could you imagine? He, I mean. I mean, that would make, that'd be hilarious. But. Nice injury-wise. But that's it. Well, no, I meant, I didn't oh. mean OBJ injury thing. I meant, like, OBJ was, like, he was considered an MVP tight. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if he didn't get an injury, he probably would have won it. Gotcha. Anything else? No, I'm good. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, for me, hey, after Sunday, we have our NFL award show, and that will be a wrap for the NFL season. Crazy. Just a minute ago, we were making our predictions and stuff like that. Honestly, NFL award show, we should probably look back at our predictions. It'll be interesting to see what we picked. Did it come true or not? O- awards as well. So for our NFL award show, we'll be giving out like the actual – like the regular awards, MVP, OPOY, DPOY, et cetera, et cetera, and probably some made-up of our own, like game of the year, play, uh, play of the year, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't, should we do it live or should we do a recording? We'll, we'll we'll talk about it after. But, hey, I'm excited to see how this game ends. Just make it competitive. We don't want to see another um, Broncos-Panthers type of Super Bowl. We don't want to see anyone get blown out. Just oh, I don't know. I'd love to see that. I uh, I mean, I'm fine. I'm the the MetLife Super Bowl was fun. I mean, if you root, were rooting for Seattle, it was a blast. But if on the I other mean, side of the, the coin. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, what do you want? Like, yeah. I mean, Peyton Manning was old. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, sure. But hey, okay. like like I just said, enjoy the time. Whoever you're watching with, bet responsibly. Any also, we need some picks of some random ass props. We are not liable if you bet your house on these and lose. Just a reminder. Bet safely. Make sure you do your research, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, Ball the Podcast, you can find us on the audio and all the audio platforms on youtube.com slash backslash Ball Central. We also have a gaming channel, a Twitch channel, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try to be a, a, little bit, uh, more, a little bit more creative for NBA season. We got playback.tv where you can watch games with us, et cetera, et cetera. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning in. And, and we will see you guys next week for the awards.